Hi, I'm Laura Bloomberg. Welcome to this edition of CSU Matters. This month, I'm actually off campus at the Cavs Legion Lair, where our eSports team is competing in its inaugural season. Our team consists of 35 student eSports athletes who compete in the National Collegiate Conference for eSports. This facility is shared between our team and the Cavs eSports Club, and it is a remarkable state-of-the-art facility. I'm excited for you to see more. I'm here this evening both with our student eSports athletes and their eSports director, PJ Farrell. How do you describe eSports as a, as a sport? There's a really big difference between a person who plays video games and an esports athlete. You notice that people who play video games at home, they tend to do it casually. They might play for eight hours, 10 hours straight. Whereas you have esports athletes that are finding people online, they're working together, they're coming up with strategic solutions to problems within the games, and then they're executing. And they also, they take breaks, they exercise to make sure that our bodies are healthy, our minds are healthy. And that's just a really big difference between what a lot of skeptics think video gaming is and what esports is. That is a great explanation. Thank, Thank you. you. So as I understand it, our, our athletes, our esports athletes compete in five games. Correct. Can you give us a 30 second overview of those five games? <laughs> sure. So we have Valorant, which is a first person shooter game that's really strategic. It's kind of based off of an older style game called Counter-Strike. Our second game is Overwatch, which is a very fast paced game that has a lot of strategy to it, but it's very quick and it's also another first person shooter. Uh, we have League of Legends, which is kind of like a third person view that you control a hero and then you're trying to destroy the enemy's base with four other players on your team. And then we have Smash Brothers. Uh, and then our last game is Rocket League, which is really uh, one of my favorite games to watch. It's, uh, it's basically car soccer. So you play as a car and you're hitting a giant soccer ball into a big net. This is really fun. growing, isn't it? It is, yes. We, we actually had over 115 students try out for our team oh this year. God. We were only unfortunately able to keep 35. Um, we had five students that actually transferred in in the spring. We had three students that graduated this past fall that were seniors. Are we having a pretty successful first season? Unbelievable. Uh, actually, oh, we have two Rocket League teams that are undefeated. Our Overwatch team is undefeated. Uh, we have a Smash Brothers player who just won the Northeast region and the entire NECC. Uh, so he'll be getting a trophy, which is really cool in our, awesome. our first season. Awesome. That's great. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So what kinds of skills does it take, do you think? to be excellent at the specific game that you play and then at eSports in general. League of Legends is a very team-based game, so you need to have very good interpersonal skills. It's a very mentally taxing game, so you need to be probably pretty intelligent to be able to learn all the different champions. There's 150 champions in League of Legends. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and you need to be able to play a, quite a large number of them. You need to be dedicated. It takes a lot. The game changes every week. They update the game. so. So the game changes, what, what you actually do will change every week? Pretty much once a year they do what they call a mid-scope update where they update the entire game. That would be like the rules of basketball changing mid-season or something, right? It's crazy. I, it wouldn't go as far as like the internal rules of the game change, but how the characters play change, how the map plays change. Okay. So you have to relearn a lot and that's why it takes a lot on you because you have to continue to play continue to learn all the time. So what's it like to balance being a student, and I presume you're a good student, Yes. Um, with being a, a good team member and a good member of an eSports team in particular? It definitely takes a lot of motivation to continue to show up, continue to do well in your classes while also balancing the time here, and a lot of dedication to the program for sure. So do you have a pretty good group of teammates here? I have an awesome group of teammates, I love them. That's great. Thanks so much for your time, Tim. Thank you. Appreciate talking to you. I'm an international student from Brazil, and I'm majoring in computer science. This is my first year, my second semester. Yeah, I joined eSports this semester, and it's been good so far. That's great. So first tell me, you decided to come to Cleveland State from Brazil. How did that decision work for you? I just thought Cleveland was the best option, and. I was like, Mom, I'm going, and she was like, okay, sure. It was the best option. I'm glad you're here. I have to ask you, you are in a sport that is, I'd say, it's fair to say it's still heavily dominated by men, right? Yes. Yes. So what is that like for you, and was it, was it a challenge to decide to become an eSports athlete? It was a challenge when I decided to try out, because I, before I, I came here, I was like, it's gonna be easy, like, yeah, I got it. And then I got here, that, and I was just like, it. <laughs> men all over. You're holding your own though. Yeah, yeah. It, after the tryouts, it just got easier with time. PJ helped me a lot, because at first I, I was just like, 
self-doubting myself a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and then PJ was just like, you got this. Like, we chose you for a reason. And I think that's a really powerful message. We chose you because you're qualified to do this, right? And you know that now. Yeah. And you're going to stick with it. That's fantastic. Thanks for making the time to talk with me. Get to go. Get to go. Get to go. Oh, yes. Yes. It was awesome. <laughs>